All right, here we are. Today we're going to do a review of this cool ass General Electric electric frying skillet. All right, it's pretty big. You see, there's my hand in orientation. That comes with this really cool, that big glass lid. All right, General Electric. All right, it's got a venting hole right here. All right, the only thing wrong is that uh, during the course of one of the washing things, somehow, some way, one of the little spacer washers got missing. All right, run down the drain or something, I don't know, and the knob is a little bit loose. But it's solid glass. It's got this real cool metal band all the way around. It covers the top. All right, it's, then it's got these really neat handles. Uh, I think the best feature is that it's got this quick release so the knob right here. It's the end it locks in when you poke, when you put it in there. It locks in. Here, let's watch. See, locks in. All right, now can't see the numbers on it anymore but it goes from zero all the way up to 500 you see a little blue light comes on when, when it's on all right uh, tugs in it's got a little short cord so once again this is like a you know one station cooking device all right uh, I think it holds like six quarts or something like that eight quarts but right now we're, we're gonna as you can see we're gonna do some fried potatoes with uh, white onions and some garlic and I think over here I got a couple old beat up serrano peppers I'm gonna put in it. Alright, so let's grab this big one. Yeah. Alright, so let me get it set up and let me get it going. Sorry about the lighting. Right? We're in mom's kitchen. Alright, but we're gonna cook, we're gonna do this. Oh yeah, and I forgot I'm gonna cut up a couple little bits, a couple of little steaks and throw it in two. So it's gonna end up like carne asada or something. Taters. <laughs> Alright. But anyways, this is me Brian. Right, my mom's kitchen doing a review of the General Electric electric frying skillet. So, here, let me get, like I said, let me get it going and uh, I'll get back to you. Hang on. Okay, I changed my mind. What I got here is one whole jalapeno, one whole little white onion, and three cloves of garlic. Uh, the serrano is a, a little bit worse of the wear, so I'll save him for something else. And here's the two steaks that I said I was going to cut up right now. I also used about uh, five, four or five, maybe six tablespoons of oil. Right, now the trick here is that you want to leave the lid on, you want to let them steam. Right? You want to let the potatoes, you want the steam to help you cook it. Alright, so I'm going to dump this in right now. Uh, got a color in. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Oh, and I threw in some salt and some pepper. Alright. Normally I would also throw in some bell peppers or a big pasita pepper or something, but uh, we don't have any more. <laughs> I used all those up the other day when I was making this for me and mom. But anyway, so I get the temperature on like about 350, 300, something like that. All right, we're going to let this go all right, so that the steam can cook the potatoes out. Sorry about that. All right, and right now I'm going to work on dicing up steaks. So, hang on, part three is coming up. Focus. Okay, okay, now you want to dice your steak up into like roughly like a half inch dice, season it with a little bit of salt and pepper, and then set it to the side and cover it. Right, because we're about oh, a third of the way done with the potatoes. And take a look, Woo, look at all that steam. All right, see, nice and sizzling, really good, looking good. All right, so what you want to do is, is you want to throw the you want to throw the steak meat in when the potatoes are just about done. So they'll cook together and you get some of the juices and stuff with the meat mixes in with the potatoes and you get that whole flavor thing going all right so for right now I'm gonna stop I'm gonna drink me some more of my coffee all right we're gonna wait a little bit and see what happens okay um, I put a little bit more salt in salt and pepper so right now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab the steak meat I'm gonna dump that into look at all that mm -hmm. yeah. Now, I'm mix it in pretty good, spread it all around. Right. That'll go. Right. This is enough, this is going to feed four people right here. Right. Me and mom, right. and the two young ones. Right. So, we're going to put the lid back on. And we're going to let that go for about oh, five, six minutes, seven minutes maybe. Uh, come back, stir on it. Right in the meantime. <laughs> Yeah, and put this in the sink. Right, now, 
Started out doing a review on this here little device. Now I've only been at this for, let's see, uh, about 20 minutes or so, 25 minutes took me tops. And so had this is the GE General Electric 6 quart electric frying skillet. That is a very good device. It's very cool. I mean, they got this over at Walmart, I think, for about 35 bucks or something like that. You know, it's it's been the go-to thing for me here. You know, uh, because uh, the, it's summertime here. I mean, like, it's hot. Like, right now, it's, like, hot outside here. Right? And the stove and the oven tends to heat everything up real fast. And, right? And this is an old house, and we don't have air conditioner. We got a couple of fans. We got a fan right there. It's trying to suck the air out from what I'm doing. So for the last, you know, week or so, this has been the go-to device for me to cook food for me and mom, right? It works really good, it works really fast, it's easy to clean, right? You know, it's got that little, the safety, little safety clip thing device on the, on the plug-in, right? I mean, I like it, I, li I like it really good, but then, you know, I tend to like good kitchen devices that work really good. So, hey, you need one of these? Walmart, they got them. General Electric. Six core electric frying skillet. Right, it's the bomb fat. Yeah, it is. Right. The last element to this seriously good stuff is six eggs. You want to whisk them up. I put a little bit of salt in them, a little bit of pepper. It's mom's favorite right here. All right, and you want to turn the fire. You want to turn the heat up all the way. That right. because we need these eggs to incorporate into the potatoes and the meat. All right, so just let it go right there for a minute. All right. All right, there we go. Now, I'm just gonna let this cook. All right, and the next time you see it, it's gonna be in a bowl. Here we go, Mom. Welcome. Do you want anything else? You got coffee? No, I'm, I'm not want that. I got it. You want any bread with the mayonnaise or anything? You're good. Yeah, you can give me some bread with mayonnaise. Right, that's your favorite right there. This time it's got steak meat in it. 